this video, you'll see how to automatically remediate security non-compliance using AWS Config Rules, AWS CloudWatch events, and AWS Lambda functions. With these services and functions, you can evaluate configuration settings, detect non-compliance, and remediate issues automatically. For the purposes of this example, we'll monitor and remediate issues with an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3 bucket. Let's take a look at our S3 buckets. Notice that we have buckets that allow public access, which could be a potential security issue. We can inventory and evaluate configuration changes to these resources by enabling AWS Config. First, specify the resource types you want AWS Config to record. Let's keep the defaults and opt to include global resources. Let's stream the configuration changes and notifications to an Amazon Simple Notification Service topic. Let's accept the other default settings, including the choice to create an AWS Config Service Linked role. Once AWS Config is enabled, it can check the configuration of your resources against rules that you define. We'll come back to this after completing some additional setup, so for now, Let's skip creating a rule. Now, confirm the settings to enable AWS Config. Now that AWS Config has been set up, let's switch to the CloudTrail Management Console to create a trail that will record events for our AWS account. We'll use this trail to send events to CloudWatch logs. In a moment, you'll see how to detect and automatically take action on a specific event. Type in a name for the trail, and then specify the S3 bucket where you want to store the event logs. Now, create the trail. Next, let's create a new SNS topic that will help to keep us informed whenever the compliance of one of our tracked resource configurations changes. Once a topic is created, you need to add a subscription. For this example, we'll simply subscribe an email address that notifications can be sent to. Now that the initial configuration is complete, let's return to AWS Config and create a config rule. You can create config rules to monitor configuration changes in many different AWS resources. In this case, we're going to create a rule to monitor our S3 buckets. Let's select this S3 Bucket Public Right Prohibited Rule, which checks that S3 buckets do not allow public right access. As our initial remediation action, let's choose to send notifications to the SNS topic we created. Now, type in a simple message for the notification and provide the appropriate topic ARN. This rule has been created and is now evaluating compliance. Now that the rule is finished evaluating, we can see that it has detected a non-compliant resource. This means that one of our S3 buckets has public write access. We can click the rule to see which resource is non-compliant. Let's select the S3 bucket and investigate further. Selecting Manage Resource opens the Buckets page in the S3 Management Console. Let's look in the Permissions tab to review the policy that's allowing public write access for this bucket. As you can see, the bucket policy allows public read and write access. Next, let's navigate to CloudWatch and create an event rule to help us automatically remediate non-compliant resources, like this bucket when they are detected. Let's edit the event pattern by pasting in code that specifies what we're responding to and how we want to respond. This code specifies that when AWS Config reports a resource as non-compliant, CloudWatch will invoke the target event. This event will be invoked only for the S3 bucket public write prohibited event coming from AWS Config. Now that we have defined our event pattern, 
we need to specify a target. We're going to use a lambda function to remediate this issue. Now, we'll provide a name for this rule and then create it. Next, let's navigate to the Lambda Management Console and quickly review the Lambda function we'll be invoking. A Lambda function is a piece of stateless, user-defined code that runs on AWS Lambda automatically when it is triggered by an event. With Lambda, you can run code for virtually any type of application or backend service with zero administration. Notice that this function is already associated with CloudWatch events as a trigger. Here is the code for this function. This function accepts a CloudWatch event as a parameter and looks for the bucket name with non-compliant as the compliance type. Then it removes the bucket policy from this S3 bucket. Now let's return to AWS Config and reevaluate this rule. While this rule is evaluating compliance, let's return to the Lambda Management Console and take a look at the function as it executes. On the Monitoring tab, we can get additional information. For instance, we can see that the function was successfully invoked. We can also view the log streams if necessary. Now, when we re-evaluate the rule, we can see the resource is no longer non-compliant. Now let's take a look at our list of compliant buckets. As expected, we can see the bucket we've been working with. Examining the settings of the bucket itself, we can see that the policy has indeed been removed. You've just seen how to automatically remediate security non-compliance using AWS Config Rules, AWS CloudWatch events, and AWS Lambda functions. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.